Question number three is very simple. We're looking at the equation represented right here. I'll do a little underline under that. And we're given the reaction rate law right here. So we're going to look and respond to letter A. The reaction order in terms of hydrogen peroxide is going to be first order. We know that because the exponent to which hydrogen peroxide is raised is 1. And the exponent, in, and we can assume a 1 if we don't see anything, is the order of a particular reactant. Our second reactant is the iodide ion. That's also first order. That one's pretty easy to figure out. And you'll notice that in the rate law, we don't have anything listed for the hydrogen ion. So that means it's the zero order, or the zero with order. I don't know how to spell that. I'll get rid of that because I don't know how to spell that. And we're just going to call that the, one more little erase here, zero order or zero order. And please remember that the overall order for the reaction is found by adding up all of the exponents. In this case, this is second order overall.